Yeah. All right. <laughs> Looks like we're finally live. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Welcome, people. My name's Stu. I'm chronically late to my own stream every time. <laughs> um, anyway, how are you guys doing today? <laughs> sorry, it's so sorry, it's so late getting on, man. Um, yeah, <laughs> no great excuses. Hey, Jack, how's it going, man? First mod here. Way to be. Way to be. Let me just uh, adjust camera position here. There we go. Just making sure we're golden. Gabe, what's up, man? Vu Long? <laughs> hey, Anthony, how are you? Um, I saw a couple people asking about the giveaway. So the giveaway is done. That ended um, about 10 hours ago. And uh, so I, I posted who, who won it in the... Um, I pinned it as a comment in that video where you guys were supposed to be putting your giveaway stuff. There's no giveaway in this, so you don't have to put your pilot ID, you don't have to beg for anything. There's no giveaway happening tonight. Um, so, anyway. Also, I just realized that uh, my screen is actually... The wrong thing is up right now. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me grab my phone screen really quick here. So unprofessional, Stu. So unprofessional. There we go. Sorry, just uh, making sure my phone's connected with the USB here and getting that all rolling. Okay, so there's that. Blank that out. And window capture. There it is. Boom. <laughs> my stuff. Oh, Stu, you're a joke, man. <laughs> Supersonic, you're super kind. Thank you for the compliment. Uh, gaming machine, I've been I've been very well, been very well. <laughs> Barrel, how's it going, man? Hey, Betsy. Hey, Mitchell. All right, so let's let's jump into a round. Um, so as you saw from the thumbnail and from the from the title of the stream, we're going to be taking a look at different builds with the um, with the bulwark and the falcon. So most of them, the ones that I'm starting with right now are are requests from you guys. Uh, and then I'll just be taking requests in the chat for what you guys want to see after that. So, <laughs> Josue, yes, I am really live streaming. It, Josue, if, if I recall, I think you're from, are you from Texas? Is that is that where you're from? So for you, it would already be 11, 10 p.m. If, um, if I remember. Hey, Ataf, how's it going? Um, and my leg is getting there, but it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely not there yet, Jag. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Um, so, so for those of you who don't know, I know there's a lot of people around that are new to the channel. I, I broke my leg in a work accident at the end of January and I've, so I haven't been able to work. I, I heard it on a construction site. I, I was framing houses. That's what I was doing for work, um, between now and trying to become a physical therapist. So going to PT school. Um, so I, I broke my leg. That's what Jag is asking about. He's asking, uh, he's asking how recovery is going. Um, on that, so I'm just trying to back off here. I see that guy, that uh, Bulgasari, looking at me. So, um, but anyway, yeah. So, so my leg is healing up, but yeah, it's it's definitely far from perfect. So, one of the the, the last, uh, probably the last like two weeks, it's it's actually been really painful, like more so than it has been. Recovery's been pretty good so far, but um, yeah, it's been it's been not so bueno the last last like two weeks definitely been painful but uh but I, I can walk so that's cool i can walk now because <laughs> uh i was very sick of crutches do you see that we actually did damage to that bulgasari <laughs> it's a christmas miracle hey rohan phantom oh oklahoma that's what it was <laughs> oh sway says why does everyone think i'm from texas i don't know man i, I read a lot of chats and i, I guess i must have just thought we had a conversation about you being from texas or maybe there was another Josue from texas but I don't think so. I'm pretty sure you're the same one. Uh, you're the same one that I'm thinking of. Come on. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Luckily, we have a hover ability. So actually, uh, take us faster, further. Faster, further, stronger. Dang it. Dang it, Stu. We'll just wait for our ability to come back and then we'll <laughs> pop back up here. Oh, uh, so you did zero damage that Kamiho. I mean, he dashed anyway, but yeah. <laughs> the fact that he's a dash bot means that he wasn't going to take damage from my missiles. 
Uh, Betsy, we'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of a lot of my U.S. viewers um, have a hard time with the with this stream time. <laughs> Whoops, that was bad. I was actually I was going for somebody over there. Otherwise, it would have curved that more. Um, but anyway, yeah, a lot of my U.S. people have a have a hard time with the stream time, except for my my West Coast people and my Mountain Standard Time peeps. Like DDR, there he is. Speaking of Mountain Standard Time, DDR, you made me die. I'm just kidding. All right, so I, ha I had this build requested a lot, and um, so I was, I was talking a couple streams ago about why I thought the Tempest would be a good idea on this, and one of the best reasons I think that the Tempest would be a great idea on the Bulwark is because um, at range or up close, the Tempest has the potential to do a lot of damage. So thinking about... Um, I'm trying to get out of your way, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, go the same way. But yeah, so thinking about, like, its damage up close, so its potential um, when you're, like... 350 meters and under so basically like a redeemer it actually has like the same dps so there's a fun thought for you hey cody how's it going man see someone talking about bronze chest i couldn't finish reading it before i had to shoot people <laughs> story of my life <laughs> you know i was just trying to read something and then i had to go shoot somebody gabe hola que tal como esta <laughs> David, he's like, midnight. See, he's one of my East Coast peoples. And uh, Fase, he says, I am from Jamaica, man. That's what I'm talking about, brother. Uh, 1109 in Canada. So Kent, Kent Bateman from Canada. So you must be from Central Canada then. Um, just trying to catch up here. What time zone do I live in? I live in uh, the mountain, uh, the mountain time zone in the U.S., um, so I, I live in Utah, uh, for those of you following me along at home. Um, I, I live in Utah right now. I grew up in New York, but I've lived in Utah for a while. <laughs> Funny story, I was actually wearing, uh, right before the stream, and the biggest reason I was late is because I was wearing um, a hat, and I, I wasn't thinking about it. I'd just been wearing a hat all day. And it was, it was a, a BYU hat. That's the, the college that I graduated from, um, that I got my bachelor's in, or at. And... Uh, yeah, I, I wasn't thinking about it, and because I'm looking at my phone, like, the whole time I'm streaming, you guys would be staring at the brim of my hat, like, the whole stream, if, uh, you know, if, if I decided to rock it, and I was like, you know what, that's actually not cool. <laughs> like, you guys deserve more than the brim of my hat, because, like, at least, at least like this, you guys can see, like, part of my face, so I actually um, had to, like, wash my hair really quick, because I had, like, terrible hat hair. <laughs> so I just woke up and rolled with it today, so... Um, so yeah, I was being, I was being a girl. I'm just kidding. You could be a boy and do that too. Um, Sagehit Ryan Lowe says, how long will you stream? So I'll be streaming for two hours. BCC 1979, welcome back my friend. Syracuse, New York, that's what I'm talking about. I, I think we talked about, I think you might have mentioned Syracuse before. Um, I grew up, I grew up uh, just south of Rochester. <laughs> Cecile says Canadians make good maple syrup. <laughs> I love you guys. Hey, Big Daddy. Myself and the family, we're doing great. Thank you for asking. Uh, for me in Canada, it's 9.15. Okay, so you must be like Vancouver then, or, or thereabouts. <laughs> Victor, no tengo oro que puedo darle. <laughs> Lo siento, amigo. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Cecile says we deserve the full sexy. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. You're great. <laughs> Justice, how's it going, my friend? Um, yeah, it'll be 1 a.m. here in Wisconsin. Yeah, you, so you're on Central Time. Um, yeah, so in Wisconsin, when I end the stream, it should be about 1 o'clock a.m. Oh, the stupid bug. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about that. I didn't check my range before I started shooting. Normally, I've been doing that, but, you know, for the last, like, you know, several months since the plasma bug has been here. Uh, so, Johan uh, Cleveland says, does anyone know how to get the Falcon in the game? So, currently, the only way to get it is through the black market stuff, and I'm sure that's going to change. I still haven't heard back when that's going to change. It's probably because they don't know yet. It might be because they're finishing... Uh, fixing bugs in the game uh, they came with this update prior to making these like available you know for money or via component deals but currently 
um, as far as I've seen, the only way to get them, the Exodus, or the Spark, uh, you know, the, the Bulwark Falcon, Exodus, or Spark, is uh, via the black market. So This thing can take a beating, by the way. I've actually started recording for the tutorial on it. <laughs> I feel like I've got a, a pretty good... Um, I'm pretty on top of it. Uh, Phantom, I'll have to check that later. Hey, idiopathic memory loss, my man. <laughs> 7 a.m. here. Thanks for waking me up. <laughs> oh, sorry for waking you up, man. You're you're probably all done with your residency and stuff, and you're like trying to sleep in, you know, before you start your career. <laughs> and then I go and ruin it for you, man. I'm sorry. I you deserve better. You deserve better. <laughs> we should break up. It's not you. It's me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Sorry. I'm done. I need to hang out with more normal people. I said I just hang out with my family all day because my leg's broken. Um, when is the announcement of the winner? So that is in the video. Uh, it, it is in the giveaway video, so those were posted. And the people who won, I also... Um, so the first thing I did is I, I commented on their, uh, their entry comments. So those people should know already just, just by that. I tried to wait till the last second to put my uh, to put my front facing front facing shield up, um, simply because I didn't want his orcans doing all kinds of damage to it unnecessarily. <laughs> That's something we'll talk about in the bulwark tutorial, which I'll try to get going. Uh, so Rabas says, "How do you get the Falcon and the bulwark so fast?" So this is not this is Pixonic's account that I'm playing on right now. This is not mine. On my personal account, I, I do not have these. Uh, so. The only way that I was able to get these so fast is because they put them on this account so that I could play with them. So, <laughs> Thander, how's it going, man? Yeah, my body grew back. Grew back, man. Decided not to go with the green shirt today or whatever color this is. I think someone told me it was like purple once, but I don't know. Um, Donna, yeah, I do know Foggy Gaming. Good old Anthony. Yeah, he's uh he's one of my favorite people. Foggy's a really good man. Um, yeah, Betsy, that that's right. The other thing that I that I forgot to mention, Bet Betsy is correct. Uh, so the only other way to get them is through these battle crates right here. So you get pieces of those components right now. That's what's in them. So you just get you know random amounts of them and stuff. And I posted on my on my Facebook page if you guys uh, you know the link is in the description for that. But I did post what I got from a champion chest. Excuse me on this account, so you can see like quantities of, of whatever I got. And I, I guess I can show you where I'm at as far as components on this stuff right now. So let's see where are they? Okay, so that's where I'm at for for Bulwark and Falcon. So 675 and 655. And then Spark, I've got 1235 and Exodus 1590 is where I'm at there. Hey, Tom Brady. <laughs> 12 o'clock 12 o'clock p.m. Okay, so it's like lunchtime for you. All right, DDR. We'll see you later, buddy. <laughs> David Reigns, I'm sorry you're depressed and sad, man. Hope you get feeling better. Uh, War Robots with Mike, my phone, no, my phone does not lag while while gaming. Are you guys getting lag from me? Uh, looks like the stream is healthy. Looks like we're pushing out some uh, some good stuff. I'm echoing, says Phantom. I am in an echoey room, and I do have some I do have some sound pads around, <laughs> but they only do so much. Let me let me see if I can actually. I'll stick this one up here, and maybe I'll catch some stuff. Catch some sound. Probably not though. This room sucks. I'm sorry. <laughs> Small house, five kids. So, uh, favorite football team? So, Kevin, if you're talking about American football, my favorite football team is the Denver Broncos, followed closely by the New York Giants. Uh, Big Daddy says, Stu, how long does it usually take to get your prize that you win from a YouTuber through Pixonic? Uh, it, it depends, but lately the, the person that we work with at Pixonic, the community manager, manager that works with YouTubers, um, she's had exams and everything that she's been, um, you know, working with. So it's been a little bit slower. So. Um, <laughs> why is the reload button for 
iOS and Android. I don't think we have the reload button yet. Oh, are you saying like, where is it? I don't know, man. Definitely need it though. Oh, what was that controller that cools the phone? I, I do still have to do, so Roxilla, I do still have to do uh, a thing on that. And I can't remember what it's called and I don't think there's any branding on it. Um, but I have it right here. For those of you who don't know what he's talking about, so in the last stream, I was showing I was showing them that I, I picked up this controller because I keep getting questions from people like different ways to cool down your phone and there's not really tons of ways to do it because your phone's thermally throttle like once it, you know as they start to get hot your performance just tanks and so if you can keep it cool you can keep your performance normal um, and so I, I was looking at different options and then this was like a cheap option I think it was like 11 bucks or something like that and so I picked it up so I could review it for you guys but anyway yeah. Um, so soccer, I don't really follow soccer. <laughs> so we'll, we'll jump into another round with this, and then you guys let me know what you want me to see on these. So uh, the bulwark with thunders is something we're going to put in here um, as well. So we have to put that in, and then uh, let's see. We had a – what was it? Oh, it was a bulwark with – I can't remember what it was. Oh, yeah, yeah that, that's right. It was a bulwark with uh, Zeus is, is what someone was asking about. Yeah, War Robots with Mike. The sound of the Orkins has changed. It sounds, uh, so the Exodus sounds like the Orkins do now. So I don't know if you guys can hear this with like everything there. But here, I'll be quiet for a second. So that's what the Orkins should sound like right now is like the same as the Exodus. So this guy's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Just shooting into nothing. Um, I better be careful. I'm, I don't want to get this guy shot. And there's probably shock trains over here. Uh, actually, that looked like it might have been a, a carnage. Uh, oh, never mind. He must have got shot by a Carnage Zeus or something. I thought that was maybe a Carnage Zeus right there. All right, so let's uh, let's work on moving up on these guys. I'm not sure what this guy's in. All right, so let's uh, let's move down the hill here just so that we have some cover. And uh, I'm gonna let my shields recharge here. So I just uh, I just started them cycling. I'm just trying to keep my heavy weapons poked over the top here. Oh, Bulwark with Redeemer. Yeah, that, that one's actually really fun. We'll have to put that one in for sure. Uh, did I watch the NBA Finals? Um, I did not. So I'm actually, I've, I've never really been a huge basketball fan. Um, it's not that I like don't like it. I've just never gotten into it, I, I guess I should say. <laughs> oh, it's close. I was snappy on my shield there. Did you see that? I was like, what? Quick like cat. Dumb like dog. <laughs> I just saw somebody with like all caps. Greasy Eddie, my boy stupendous. Hey, Eddie, is this like the first time I've noticed you on your first comment? Does that make you happy? Makes me happy. I guess I don't need to look that way since they're... <laughs> I was thinking I had to like face my shield that direction, but I don't... Uh, my front facing shield that direction, but I don't have to. It looks like my front facing shield is still intact. I don't see any smoke coming off of my front here, so... Uh, what are you? Oh, you are a noob train Bulgasari. Yeah, you didn't think I had shields on there. You're like, wait, that's a that's a bulwark. I thought it was a Natasha. I am a Natasha. It's like Natasha had a baby with Bane from Batman. It's basically what it looks like, you know, with all this glowing stuff on here. Kind of what it reminds me of. He's probably going to spawn in here with something. I'm sitting here cycling my, uh, <laughs> my weapons. Let's back off. Hanging out with this guy. Oh, here we go. Here he is. Oh, he went that way. Sweet. That's amazing for us block him. Actually, didn't block anything. There you go. You're going down, man. Whoops. <laughs> if Stu could aim, you're going down. Luckily, there's target forgiveness with uh, <laughs> with weapons like this. Because there's splash damage. Um, I don't know when the announcement is for the, for the revenge thing. You'll have to check on that. Uh, I imagine it'll be in the next couple days. I know it takes those guys a second to go through all the comments and everything. Uh, yeah, Bean Squad, I did see, maybe it was you, but I, I saw somebody ask if we could run some skirmish this, uh, this stream, and yeah, we could totally do that. We can make that wake. Um, let's see, what are all these noobs doing? Camping. Guess let's see if we can move up into the Death Star Trench here and uh, see if we can get into targeting rage with our weapons. Oh, sorry, team. I just got you guys shot. That's my bad. That's my bad. That's on Stu. It's on Stu. Doesn't know how to play the game. Goodbye, sir. 
Hello? I'm, I'm stuck. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Okay, we're good. <laughs> okay, we're down. We're officially down. Yeah, Kevin Garcia says Natasha plus Carnage equals Bulwark. <laughs> Pretty much correct. Hey, we got like seven damage on that guy. That was powerful. Yeah, missed thirty percent of your shots. Yeah, that was uh, that wasn't good. Children, don't take don't take notes from Daddy <laughs> on uh, on this. Right, let's pop up here just so we can get a, a little bit better of an arc on that Inquisitor. Fander, I don't know what you're talking about, but I just saw you say that I'm a mechanic bird. <laughs> and now it's... I, I can't scroll up right now, so I have no idea what's happening. Uh, Betsy Leach, we'll see you later. Good luck sleeping. I believe in you. Hope you have some sweet dreams. Sweet, sweet dreams. You may fly off when ready, says Ultimate Bloody 56. Holy Hannah. Getting shot while reading comments. Didn't you know that that's rude? Some people's kids, man. I'm telling you. Parents need... Parents, teach your children. Don't shoot at people while they're reading comments. Um, Storm says, Stu, what um, what the setup for Doc? There's there's some good options out there. I mean, if you... Hey, DBB, how's it going, man? Good running with you the other night. Um, but yeah, so, so good setups for the Doc. Anything... Um, that, there's, there's a lot, really, of... Uh, there, there's a lot of great setups for it. I would recommend if you... If you can get them, I, I got four Vortex actually really quickly, like for free. Like I didn't pay anything for them, but it wasn't too hard to get them. I got several of them in like gold chests and stuff from the random keys that you get these days. Um, so there's that. And um, yeah, so but the, the Vortex are really, really fun. Uh, definitely can deal tons and tons of damage with those if I could like talk. <laughs> like, we believe, believe that's all, folks. Um, the uh, so I like the Orkin and Tehran or the four Orkins is really good. Um, also, another another good setup is doing Orkins with. Um, sorry, <laughs> doing uh, Orkins with Punishers because you can use. It's usually no matter what level of play you're in. Do you see how little damage he's doing to me? <laughs> Sixty-six percent damage resistance. Depending on the level of play that you're in, there's generally lots of Ansel shields, or you'll run into them someday, <laughs> at whatever level of play that you're in. Um, so the, uh, the Punishers can help you strip Ansel's while your Orcans can deal your quick damage as you move in. Uh, that kind of thing. Alright, so that guy's doing, like, hardly any damage when we have our, uh, just regular face on, so. Oh, it looks like he's shooting at their Ansel's now, too, so I guess let's, let's help my team focus him down. Um, iTech Pod, that's weird. I'm not sure why it's doing that. You should, you should contact customer support on that. They've, uh, they've actually generally been better at getting back to people with real uh, responses lately. You'll usually get a computer automated one right at first, but... Um, yeah, I've heard I've heard people say that about the Vortex getting silently buffed, but I I don't know, I haven't really noticed much, and I've, I've actually been playing with them quite a bit. Um, it could have been maybe they they fixed the wire mesh frame on the dash bots a little bit <laughs> so that they were slightly less OP than they already are, but I don't know. All right, so FZ1, I don't know what you are, but I want to shoot you. I just saw someone say that they won the Exodus giveaway. Congratulations, person who won the Exodus giveaway. I didn't uh, I didn't get to read your name before I started getting shot in the face. Generally, when I get shot in the face, I actually don't do too well reading comments, so that's just, you know, call me old-fashioned, but I just tend to struggle in that regard when I'm getting shot in the face. Uh, I was trying to hit him with some splash damage, just trying to shoot the wall. <laughs> so he's getting some of that. Getting wrecked by Spectre Turons. You know what, bruh? Hey, Jag, you think I could join the clan with my level 21 account? Let's see. Do you think Scourge Turon Doc would be good? Yes, I do. I do think that that would be a good setup. All right, so I got to get picked up from behind. What do I even have? Okay, so I've got this. <laughs> Guess let's try to move in. Uh, Hellbound says, I think Stu needs more mods as his channel grew. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've actually got quite a few, but uh, this, like, this night one doesn't work for a lot of people, so um, I should probably consider maybe grabbing, like, one or two more, like the, you know, the night shift <laughs> kind of thing. 
Uh, hey, Stu, is the Fury with three times Zeus worth buying? Yeah, that's that's something that's been good, like, always. It, I mean, there was, like, a Zeus bug for a while that made it kind of suck and annoying, but um, in general, the the Fury Zeus has always been good. So at uh, at max mark one, you're, you're putting out, like, I think it's close to 50,000 damage per uh, per volley or, or per shot. And so that's that's every five seconds. And if you if you play it right, it really is deadly. So I, yeah, I would I would definitely recommend Fury Zeus if you if you can go for it or you know if you're thinking about it. Oh sorry man, uh, I wasn't I, I didn't know what this guy was. I should have I should have corner peaked. That was bad team play, Stu. Come on man, got that guy killed. I feel bad. He probably hates me. That's probably the same guy I got killed earlier. Was that this map or was it the other one? I can't remember anymore. They're all just blending together, people. Alright, so that guy's got Hydras. Let's hide under the bridge for a second while he spams him into the bridge. There he goes. Nice and predictable. That's what we were hoping for. Alright, okay, so they, they took him out. We've got a Rog. Oh, we've got a Galahad. Excellent. I guess I'll just back off a little bit so that he can't hit me super well with the uh, Storm on there. Still dealing damage, even if it is doing 66% less. <laughs> uh, so the giveaway has already been carried out. I, I just saw someone uh, mention that. The giveaway is already done, so that's that's in the comment section of the of the giveaway video. Codename Muti. I do do live streams. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> well, what do I do with two docs? Uh, so if you have if you've got two docks, it might be worth setting one up for close range and another one up for mid range. It also depends on what else you have in your hangar, though. <laughs> DBB says sell them for silver. <laughs> I don't know; they're pretty cheap these days, gold wise. So you might not get too much silver out of it. Um, Adrian Sangers <laughs> is freaking sick, says Jester. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, man. Pretty amazing. Uh, Mike says, my wife is coming to Utah in September. What are some can't miss things to see? It depends on where in Utah. So Mike Christensen, you'll have to you'll have to let me know, or you can shoot me a PM on Facebook. Um, Josue, they, they probably will bounce around between people's hangers. I was thinking about it. And I don't I don't know that they'll ask me like for whatever I want in my hanger. I don't, I don't even know how they handle that. But they, I don't even know if I'm like cool enough for that. But <laughs> I, I was thinking about it. I was like, what would it be like? Like two shoots, like and <laughs> and I don't know, like uh, like a Natasha and a Golem with like random crap on him. I don't know. <laughs> Miguel, Miguel, buenas noches, amigo. Bienvenidos. Um, let's see. <laughs> Little guy says, notice me, Stu. What's your favorite bot before the dash bots? Before the dash bots, the Galahad was my favorite dash or was my favorite uh, favorite robot. Uh, well, it was between the Galahad and the Punisher Griff. I still really like it. Oh, SLC to Moab. Moab. She likes to drive. If she's heading that direction, she should stop by Bryce Canyon. It's actually my favorite national park here. Uh, Bryce Canyon's sweet, and so is Goblin Valley, which is a state park. If you've seen Galaxy Quest, it's where the desert planet was, where they got the brilliant spheres from. <laughs> Roma shoots Ember. Should we throw that in real quick? <laughs> um, let's see. Let me let me grab one real fast. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you guys. I'm glad you guys like what I like. You like running the dumb stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> Josue says, okay, going with the Spanish there. Sorry, I had to respond to a comment. Yeah, the shoots can no longer be bought. Bummer, right? Oh, we should throw a flux on the shoots. That would look funny because the flux is so large. Look like Pinocchio, kind of like the Strider. <laughs> Focus says, morning, Stu. I'm late for work. Why are you watching the stream? You're going to be even later, man. I'm glad you came, though. Thanks for coming. Oh, DBB says Goblin Valley on Full Moon is awesome. D I forgot DBB is from Utah as well. So that's, that's sweet, man. Yeah, if she's looking for nature stuff to do, I mean, if she's going to Moab, I'm assuming that's what she's planning. Like, she's probably going to Arches and stuff like that. Um, if she's doing that kind of stuff anyway, like that genre of stuff, like parks and whatnot, definitely Goblin Valley and Bryce Canyon I would recommend. Bryce, I, I would say definitely Bryce and then uh, Goblin Valley if you can. I think that might be a little more out of the way. Um, what do I think about the Heavy Punisher? Um, I, I think it'll be a fun addition. 
it's it's kind of weird like the the punishers and the and the shotgun stuff like the shotguns like it, it's really nice that they can you know auto they reload while firing and stuff <laughs> let's start with the shoot shelly <laughs> we'll probably get picked apart let's go left we're gonna go left i think we'll see let's see what let's see what the enemy team does we're gonna have to play it careful because we have like one hit point so we might die immediately to that guy getting shot by shock trains. Did you see him looking at me? He's like, no. No, Stu. <laughs> He's shooting at me. Don't worry, man. I'll bring it in for the team. You know what? They're, they're going heavy on left, so let's actually... <laughs> Hello, sir. Were you the one shooting at me? Let's actually move into center here. You're welcome, man who's shooting at me. We're playing Beacon Rush, I think. I think I was talking about something before I ran in here with my shoots. Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna get shredded by this guy, man. Oh, if we could take him out, that'd be so funny. No, we didn't get it. <laughs> uh, Dekilla says, I, I hear a voice from a, sec a couple seconds early. I, I've, had, I've had people tell me that and I actually don't know why it's doing that. So I, I do apologize. Um, I'll, I'll check into that after after the stream. We'll, we'll have to look into that together. All right, let's drop in here. I don't think we're in a huge risk of getting overtaken on this right side quite yet, but we'll be able to move back. What I want to do with this guy, because he can tank so many shots, is I want to move in and take center. Actually, luckily, it looks like that guy is going to be able to take their home beacon. <laughs> oh, he neutralized it at least. That's cool. All right, so let, let's move in here. We might be able to take their home beacon. That'd be sweet. <laughs> this this thing is basically like when the shoots grew up. <laughs> that's that's pretty much what this guy is. So so with the with the damage resistance on the Falcon, that these guys shooting me with their three medium weapons is basically like a Cossack shooting with shooting me with the uh, you know with a single one of those medium weapons. Do you see how much ammo they're dumping into me? That guy's probably gonna drop right here. I would imagine. That's what I would do if I was him. I'm trying to see what we got going on here. Oops. Wasn't paying attention. That was a bad jump. I should have jumped closer to the beacon so I could start uh, start taking it. <laughs> Let's see if we can get that guy to jump. There we go. All right. So now I'll get taken out, but he's he just used his ability. So now he is a sitting pato, or duck, for those of you who don't speak Spanish. Nice. We got shock trains to the mouth, exodus to the cheek. <laughs> shoots exodus. You know what? I actually have done very well with the shoots exodus. I was playing with two of them the other day and giggling the whole time like a little schoolgirl, and it was so funny. I took out two Haichis on Canyon Map with one of them. It was great. Sure made me laugh. Let's see if we can finish this guy off before he can finish me off. Nope, didn't work. Uh, let's see. I only, so Greasy Eddie says they only play free for all on that account because it's easiest. Okay, so you're you're talking about I think your clan stuff probably. <laughs> Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Oh, he didn't get taken out. Uh, hey, Stu, so, so War Robots with Mike is also also asking if I can run Skirmish. Yeah, I can do that, man. I've actually only run two on them, and both of them ended up being TDMs on Springfield. So I don't know if that's, like, all there is or whatever. Both of them were good rounds. I got, like, 1.5 1. 1. million on both of them, I think. I'd like to see a close-range one, though, <laughs> because with all the people in, like, Silver League and stuff that I was facing... Um, I'd imagine they'd have a hard time putting up a defense against the Dark Arts. Just kidding. A, a defense against the uh, Storm Spectre from a uh, from a seasoned Storm Pector Storm Pector <laughs> Storm Spectreologist. That's uh, that's one of my favorite setups right now. Is running the the Storm Spectres on the Storm Spectres. I can't talk. I can't words because of the brain. Anyway, the, the Spectre with storms on it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that guy's like, what is happening to me? I'm dead. I'm dead. Overextended. Stu overcommitted. 
Wait. Yes. I'm alive. But we got Beacon Rush, though. So we got a guy that's going to move in. Come on, Stu. You can make it. It's so slow. It's so slow. I didn't make it. I didn't make it. Oh, Forrest says, I got two mil. That's what I'm talking about, man. I'm assuming you're talking about... Oh, I forgot this has Tempest. Oh, wait, that's okay, because we can put out a fair amount of damage. Um, anyway, so I'm, I'm assuming... I, I can't remember what we were talking about. I was reading somebody's comment. And then I moved on. That, that's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem with streaming and trying to read so many comments is that I, I only keep them in my brain for like half a second because then I have to move on to what I'm doing. <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> hey, Kraken, how's it going, man? <gasps> We're in Champion League! Better be in Champion League. If I couldn't pull that off with all this overpowered stuff that's on this Pixonic account. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't deserve this account, then. Um, when, when will be when will Stew Hanger be available on Skirmish? Probably never. I don't know if I'm cool enough. <laughs> Cossack shock train. I actually don't have any shock trains, but we should do a Cossack something. <laughs> Kane says, please donate. <laughs> please donate to Stu's speech therapy. <laughs> Speaking of speech, I need, a, I need some special drink called dihydrogen monoxide. It's great. Nahik, how's it going? GG boy. What's up, man? Oh, Stalker Spark. That'd be fun. Let, let's see. <laughs> let's let's throw an Exodus on the shoots really quick, and then we will mess around with the uh, Stalker as well. I was actually wanted to put the spark in for you guys. Yeah, War Robots Mike. We will be. We'll we'll do a skirmish after. Let, let's do it after this round. So we'll we'll do a skirmish, then we'll come back and we'll throw in a couple different things. BCC with the five dollar donation. Bedtime for me, Stu. GG. Hey. GG yourself, man. Thank you very much for coming and stopping by the stream, and thank you for donating again. Um, very, very kind of you. Thank you very, very much, man. Much appreciated, and I hope you have amazing, amazing dreams. Uh, Wolfie Wolf, he says, hey, Stu, could you answer me? Yes, you have been answered. I don't know if you said something else up above, but the chat moves pretty quick for me, and I only have, like, eight comments in a row. Hey, <laughs> Swastik Dash says, Stu is spewing dad jokes. <laughs> I can't help it. I've got five kids, so it's like they they just come naturally. Like, I don't know if you've ever been a dad before, but as soon as you become a dad, all your jokes become bad. Like, as in not good. Um, so, Bogato says, I wonder why Stu doesn't notice me. It's because what I just said. <laughs> I can only see a couple chat things in there at a time. All right, here it goes, man. Here it goes. Who's with me? Nobody? Anyone? Hey, a friend. There you go. He's my friend. I'm gonna get killed by shock trains before I even do anything, I bet. Oh, there we go. I just got my butt lit up. Oh dear. <laughs> yep. This is welcome to a team camp match. This is where you don't have to do anything cool. You just have to sit at range and shoot at people. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. Oh, well. It was worth a shot. <laughs> Ryan says, I love my dad jokes. Oh, hey, Ryan. Didn't know you are here, man. Bienvenidos. Falcon Ballista Trap. Yeah, I was thinking about running some camping setups on this stuff, if you couldn't tell from the title. Hey, <laughs> yeah, Hellbound. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it gets pretty tricky trying to read chat uh, so much and play and talk about other things and answer questions and all that stuff. Sometimes my little stew, my poor little stew brain can't can't handle it. I'm not smart enough. I am not smart. Um, hey, can you give me money so I can give you money to stream? Heck yeah, man. Yeah, just send me your credit card number. I'll send it right over. <laughs> Dancing. <laughs> Sis new meter. You like that? Little, my, my shoots is on fire. Bradley, how's it going, man? The Hydra Zenith Falcon all day on this map. <laughs> you know what I've been wanting to do? 
I've been wanting to do a Zenit Noricum Hellburner just because it doesn't make any sense at all. Like, no sense whatsoever. <laughs> uh, it just sounds funny. Why am I not shooting at these guys yet? I've got all the range in the world and I'm, like, walking forward. It's because I, I, I don't like running range stuff. Even though that's, like, very much the meta. I, I don't like running range, stu range stuff that much. So, I, I act like a brawler all the time. Hey, hey GG boy. New to the channel. Well, that's sweet, man. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for being here. <laughs> the sky's what's up. <laughs> Jag with the classic dad joke. Alright, let's use some of these noobs over here because I can't see anybody over there because I'm a noob. I don't know why I have my shield on still. Just asking for somebody to shoot it so that I won't be ready for my next engagement. Let's get behind these wires here. Um, you're very fun to watch. You seem to be really enjoying yourself. <laughs> yeah, nice and easy. We, we try to have fun here, man. And we try not to get caught up in the thick and thin things, you know. If I die, it's a game. We're just trying to have fun, you know. Oh, look at the health just falling off that specter. Look at him run away. What? Bro. Bro. <laughs> I'm gonna move up on you, man. I'm moving up. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Burn, burn, burn. He's scared. You see him? You can see it in his Ansel shield. You can see that he's scared. I'd be scared. I'm scared right now, actually. I was scared for him. Uh, what would I run in Gold League? So I would make sure to get yourself a couple of Griffins and do your best with those. There's a lot of different effective setups for the Griffin, so you can you know get yourself versed with running several of them. I think that guy shot, but I, I like stepped out of range, and so it didn't work. That's amazing, because I thought shock trains could do everything. Also, you see that? I just got my teammates all just shot again. <laughs> I'm like, that. it's hard. Usually I'm much more courteous about that, but when I'm streaming, like, there's too many things going through my head, and so I, I just can't. <laughs> I can't do it. What? Did you see that that took health damage from me? That doesn't make any sense. Bug. Another bug. Add it to the bug list. I'm actually thinking about doing a bug hunt with you guys. You guys tell me all the bugs that you can find and I'll like record video of it and send it a thousand times to Pixonic so that we get some bugs fixed finally. That'd be great. I'd love to get some bugs fixed. Namely the pies, the, well, first things first, the shock train bug where they can pass through anything. Um, and then the plasma bug that's been here for like a year. Uh, is the DB Griff good? Yes, Thander. The DB Griff is very good. Perhaps my favorite Griffin setup, actually. Well, no, the, the Punisher Griff is my favorite Griff setup. Uh -huh. I died from Shock Train, I didn't even know. <laughs> Hellbound says, Stu's philosophy on more robots. It's only a game, people. It's true. It's only a game. I have lots of great relationships with people like you guys and other friends that I've, like, you know, really good friends I've made in the game. Um, and those are important to me. But at the end of the day, this part of it, the game, is it's a game. Like, that's all that it is. You know what I mean? And I try to remember that every day of my life. Goodbye, sir. So for those of you who don't know, like, especially if you're running, like we were talking about earlier, if you're running a Death Button Griffin, make sure that you understand the physics of how the rockets work in this game. So if you are walking sideways like this, your rockets will slightly go sideways. So if you're trying to fire somebody that's around cover, uh, like around a corner, you can you can get your rockets to continue past that corner a little bit, kind of, um, by strafing sideways with them. I'm trying to get past that guy's Ansel shield so that I can shoot the Spectre. <laughs> All right, well, we made the Spectre jump, and he's severely maimed, so that's good for our team. Probably got a uh, Haichi up there of some variety. Uh, what's the DB Griff build? Says Admiral. So a death button. So the DB stands for death button, and the death button Griff is pinatas and and orkins. So uh, like a close range rocket build is what DB stands for. And if you see people say RDB or Russian death button, that means uh, the mid range rocket build. So with uh, pins and Columbus. More robots school. Welcome to the stupendous school of robots. 
Um, so yeah, I saw, I saw Swastik say I forgot to activate Aegis, so I was actually tapping the button and it wasn't working. <laughs> I bet if, I don't know, I'll have to go back and look and see. I mean, I could have just been missing, but it's usually pretty forgiving, like, being able to actually hit that button. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir, Spectre lot. Okay, we still got a couple HP Zors left on our shield. Holy Hannah, I'm getting shot because I was reading chat. Come on, Stu, get your head in the game. As I read chat. <laughs> uh, what are you going to be doing for a giveaway next? So, I'm hoping for the next giveaway. Uh, I still have to talk to Pixonic about it and see if they're willing to do it. Um, but uh, for my 25,000 subscriber giveaway, I've talked to you guys a little bit about it before. But I wanted to do, like, some kind of way... Uh, like, I, I can't reward everybody because you have to realize that there's a person that's doing these giveaways for YouTubers, like a, like a single person, <laughs> basically. And, uh, and that person can only do so much. And she's doing giveaways for everybody, you know, for all the other YouTubers. And I'm, I'm not the biggest channel out there, so I'm sure I'm not their top priority. But, um, yeah, I, I wish I could give something to, you know, to everybody. But the goal is for, for the... Uh, for that, for the 25,000 subscribers special, is to do some kind of giveaway where, um, you know, as, as many people as they'll let me can win, and then those who have been around on the channel for longest can win more, if, if that makes sense. Oops, i back off. Gotta back off, Stu. I'm not getting shot right now, so I may as well drain this guy's ansel. Trying to dodge some of these hydras, man. <laughs> there we go. Uh, random guy says, Stu, do you think that the new abilities are getting too complicated? Um, <laughs> uh, probably so, but I think what they're what they're doing, you know, as a game developer, you know, trying to think of it from their perspective, what they're trying to do is keep the game from stagnating because the game is old. If this was a console game, it would already be dead, basically. Like, there would be, like, a core group of people still playing it, but it would already be dead. And so I, I think what they're probably trying to do is just to make sure that there's a continuous flow of life into the game. we got to go take that guy down. Um, and so with the different abilities and everything like that, like, I, they're just... I, I'm pretty sure they're just trying to make sure that... Uh, like, especially for, you know, the top-level play, which is the goal of, you know, every one of their players to get to doesn't become boring and so everything has you know different abilities exciting abilities and you know they've made everything they've made most things like fairly accessible which has been good that's that was one of the biggest issues before is that they you know it was basically you had to pay to be able to get stuff but now you you don't as much you can just pay to get it faster which is how the game has always been so the new abilities yes they're complicated but um i think it's injecting new life into the game that's probably all in all, a good thing. <laughs> Kane says, I'd subscribe to you 25,000 times if I could. Man, we got... <laughs> my team got wrecked that time. <laughs> Cosmical says, if you notice me, I'll buy five Cossacks. <laughs> Keep your silver, man. I know they're not that expensive, but you don't have to buy five Cossacks. All right, so I promised we would do some skirmish now for the skirmish people out there. Hey, Bushy, what's up, man? Must be uh, first thing in the morning for you, right? Uh, John Doe says, I found that the Rhino only sometimes works in Gold League. Yeah, you, you have to be careful with it. I've been able to make it work pretty well in Diamond League on my other account. I have a level 6 Rhino with level, like a level 6 Death Button Rhino. And I've been able to make that work really well. So. <laughs> hey, Dr. Evil, what's up, man? My fellow handicap blunder. <laughs> Hope you're progressing like an uncontrollable beast. Yeah, definitely coming along for sure. So since we're playing TDM, I'm moving up on this guy who's by himself. That's generally the the good rule of thumb when you're when you're playing TDM. No, oh. <laughs> trying to run away. It didn't work. There we go. Come on. <laughs> trying to get away from this guy. He really wants a piece. He really wants a pedazo. Come on. Stay alive, Stu. 
stay alive. No, it didn't work. It's okay. We died and hurt him. Where's the green shirt? <laughs> uh, the green shirt, I I just I didn't put it on. <laughs> Decided not to today. Okay, so we got a specter jumping that. Oh, he jumped that way. That's the way he jumped, and I'm getting just murdered by him. So pay attention, Stu. I thought he jumped the other direction, so I was facing that way to wait for him to drop. <laughs> Lightning Eagle, hi Stu, please notice me, or don't, I don't really care. Just happen to be here on the stream. <laughs> Consider yourself noticed, man. One of the few that happened to be in my window when I was looking at it. Please give me one Exodus. So I, I can't just give away stuff all the time. Um, you know, I, I was able to do that giveaway. Pixonic, you know, said that they would, you know, sponsor it and everything, but I can't just give away stuff all the time. That, like, that's not, that's not my decision, if that makes sense. That's the thing uh, when we do a giveaway. That's why I don't tend to do tons and tons of giveaways. Because um, I don't want to give people the misunderstanding that, you know, I, I do that all the time and that they... I, I don't want that to be the only reason they come. <laughs> I want you to become... I want you to come because you like me, man. Ooh, trying to get away. Oh, we got him, but he got us. <laughs> oh, good job, man. Bueno Trabajo. I think all mods should be friends. <laughs> um, let's see. How do you highlight a name in chat? I think the only way you can do that is through the YouTube gaming deal. I think that's how you have to do it. I'm probably not going to do super well in these skirmishes just because I'm not able to pay very much attention. Usually when I play these, like, I, you know, you start to pick out of the crowd, like, who's a newer player. <laughs> you, you can tell by the way that they handle themselves. And so that's what I normally do, and, and I can compensate for what they're doing or what their teammates are doing accordingly. This guy, we're going to have to back off until his stealth's gone. Hopefully he stays there for a second. No such luck. Whoops. Aim, Stu. Aim. Run, Luke. Run. No. I'm too young to die. Got him. Did you see that? Right out of the air. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Drift King says, give a shout out, please. Drift King. Out. What? I don't know how to do shoutouts. Um, say my name, says Backstabber Fan. My name. <laughs> Stop harassing Stupendous about money. <laughs> I didn't I didn't even see anything. Thank you, moderator, for protecting me. <laughs> I, I don't even know what I'm getting harassed about. See, that's why it's great having really good moderators. I don't even know about stuff. And I see people talking about stuff. Oh, Wolfie Wolf, thanks for uh, thanks for promising to come back. I'm gonna miss you, man. I'll miss you while you're away. I hope you remember me. Remember me how I was, Wolfie Wolf. Come on. Your soul is mine. <laughs> Uh, hey, Stu, can I use your account, says somebody whose name just floated up past my field of view. Um, no. <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry, there's just no good way to do that without giving you my email account and password. <laughs> and uh, that is completely out of the question, even though I do love you. There we go. Whoop. <laughs> Everyone's just going ham on this side of the map over here. <laughs> Trying to get behind this Bulgasari to maybe eat some of the plasma into his shield. Or some of the uh, Dragoon. Uh, run the Butch Treb. Uh, we could do that. We're actually going to do a, a full Butch stream uh, pretty soon here. Have you heard of the player that plays in Champ League but uses only Destrier? Uh, no, I have not. What platform does he play on, do you know? That sounds like a fun hanger to run, though. I'd totally do it. I just saw somebody give a strategy tip, and I wish I could read it. <laughs> yeah, that guy, for example, he's not used to running a Bulgasari, so he's not using his shield. 
That's how you know they don't own one. Movie song parody quote. If anyone gets that one, I'll be pretty impressed. <laughs> Got him. Thread of the needle. Last guy. I've got the range. Come on, pop up, man. Pop up. I'm trying to give myself a little... There's a little hill right behind me over here. I'm trying to get up on it. Oh, is he going to pop around to the side? Do it. Oh, so close. Let's see if we can get up on this. Oh, he got him. All right, GG's team. GG's. <laughs> yes, please keep the chat clean. <laughs> I just saw the moderators responding to somebody up there. But yeah, family-friendly channel. So even even the chat, people read this stuff. So um, if you would please do not uh, please please refrain from swearing in any way, shape, or form. Even if you're doing it to positively encourage somebody, uh, please just uh, please just don't. <laughs> Samurai says, hey, Stu, making a late night movie. So I'm talking about, man, now I want some popcorn now that I see your apt popcorn emoji there. Mercury gameplay, please, they say. What we, okay, so first we were going to run the... Let, let's change some stuff around. So I do have a, a shotgun Mercury we'll, we'll put in later. But first, the people wanted a spark uh, pursuer. So let's do that. Um, so this right here, I'd actually recommend this, uh, in this day and age, I would actually recommend this over running Trebs because you can break shields in like three volleys off of a Bulgasari, even a Max Mark II, Mark, uh, Mark II one. Uh, it's hilarious. <laughs> so, uh, it's, it's very fun for making people squirm. Their shields break and they're like, whoa, wait, what? I thought my shield couldn't break. What are we doing? Oh, Pursuer. That's right. Uh, yeah, the Exodus giveaway is done. So the the winners have been notified via their comments on my uh, on the Exodus giveaway video, and then I also pinned a comment on there with all the people. I think unless there was like a a character limit, and then it might have cut it off to like ten people <laughs> instead of thirty. Are one dragoon builds even worthwhile? I have one, and I think you need at least two. So Subo, um, I would say yes, and let me tell you why. So. Um, so yes, you're losing your DPS, especially up close, because like you have to wait for it to reload and fire and stuff like that. But if you play it right, you can cripple people before they even get to you, like before they even get into range. So that one dragoon can be helpful for at least pressuring somebody because you can you know shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, that constant pressure is a really powerful psychological tool while you're playing. It'll get people to move, even if it's just one. It'll make a move. Um, but um, as you level it up and everything, you can use that to, you know, to cripple people and, and beat their health down. Dazzle Knight. Hey, Stu, do you remember me? I'm the guy who lives in New York. Uh, your name sounds familiar. <laughs> I apologize. I don't remember more than that. Here we go. Super Soakers. Let's put the Super Soakers on here. Fear Dragoon is so OP. Agreed. <laughs> so uh gamer vox gamer says i don't win any giveaways yeah i i've actually never won uh, a giveaway myself i mean luckily they you know let me play on this this press account when i want to <laughs> um i actually wanted to play on my main account tonight because i'm trying to grind out a champion chest on there so i can get an exodus but um yeah i i've had so many requests for builds with the falcon in the bulwark that uh, i i just had to I just had to do this tonight. <laughs> um, Hellbound, yeah, I, I see him recommending the Inquisitor. If you already have 8,000 components for it, yeah, definitely keep working on it. Like, don't worry about other, in, unless you're, you know, working on, like, an Inquisitor and, like, a weapon or something like that. But I would focus on that Inquisitor until you get it. Um, it it'll come faster than you think. What are we doing? Shotguns. Oh, wait, no, let's do Thermites. That, that was one of the top requested builds. Uh, Raylord Gaming says, hey, uh, love your stream. Thanks, man. I love your comment. Please run a Destrier Spark. <laughs> uh, I would if uh, the only Destrier I have on here is a level 1 Destrier. 
<laughs> Wild Bunch dances was hilarious. I saw um, Excalibur War Robots was uh, was mentioning that. Yeah, I thought that was great. Very, very awesome. I know the person who put that together. <laughs> told her told her that I was very impressed and that I, I loved the video. All right, so we've got the Exodus on here. What else do we want to do? Uh, yeah, Vox Gamer, this is a press account. This is this is not my main account. This is uh, this is one of Pixonic's account. They, it's connected to an email that they set up and own. Uh, they just gave me the login information so that I can make videos. So. Uh, let's see. Sue's giveaway was one of the first I ever entered for robots. Didn't win, <laughs> says Ken. Oh, hey, Ken, babe, man. How's it going, man? I think I remember you. Um, anyway, so we're throwing stuff on here. Let's see. Let's. I think people wanted to see. Oh, oh redeemers. That's that's what it was. I, was. I was trying to think. I was like, I was like, someone wanted something. It was a close range one. How does the bulwark measure up in the new meta of the dashbots and stuff? So it's it, it's tough to say because really, I'm like, I'm one of just a very few people who because there's other people who have you know accounts like this from Pixonic. And so I'm one of very few people who are running them. So it's like, it, it's hard to say what what it is actually like. Here, let's actually swap this out for uh, full plasma. Um, it, it's hard to say what it will actually be like, but as for right now, I mean, you you definitely have to be careful because yeah, the, the shield, the, the Aegis shield can block everything, but because it blocks everything, it takes damage from everywhere. Like it drains so fast. Like when I turn it on, it's rarely on unless I'm in a mid-range or long-range build in a bulwark. That shield is rarely on for more than like a couple of seconds. Like it just drains so fast. <laughs> Manfred, hey, welcome back, man. Love from India. Love from the US. Shafriel, how's it going, my friend? Uh, Stu, Gerswork has second hanger and 5k gold. What should he do? Boom. Done. So, Ryan, I'm assuming he was bugging you to, <laughs> to uh, for the question and stuff. Thank you for posting the question so I can see it a little bit easier. It's easier to see the mod stuff because they have badges. Plus, he's a sponsor, so he has the um, the Super Peep slash Superman um, logo there next to his name. Um, but anyway, so you've got... So you have a second hanger and you have 5k gold. Uh, what should you do? Yeah, it that's that's hard to say because I, I can't see the rest of your hanger. Um, it might be worth it to hang on to the gold and just buy like focus on one maybe two component like weapons or something like that. Um, better use this to get into the middle, but it, it is that's that's a really hard question to ask without like tons of information, which just isn't feasible in the chat. Um, and if you've already got a second hanger, then you're probably doing okay on most things. But I would just make sure you've got enough orkins to make you happy <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> just that guy he like moved in all confidently and then he's like oh mother help me <laughs> oh it's so funny like you can see people squirm even though it's just a game and it's a robot it's not the actual person you're seeing like it, it's so funny it's so funny to me that you can like actually tell stuff like that where are we going Okay, so it looks like looks like they have the beacon over there, and I doubt we're going to get it in time. So let's see if we can move off. we got a guy with noob trains right there. We're going to get shot anyways, even if we have stealth, but at least we'll get shot indirectly. Just because we got a friend moving in there. And because of the noob train bug, we'll get shot through this thing <laughs> when it ricochets off of somebody. Uh, yeah, Gorilla, uh, Gorilla, the winners were already announced in that video. Um, back in the giveaway video in the comments. Can we equip a Falcon with an Ansel and two Eco Shields? So it cannot equip Eco Shields, but you can equip an Ansel Shield on it. We tried the Eco thing the other night <laughs> um, in a stream per somebody's request, uh, just like you. But it didn't end up working out. We did try it though. Tested. All right, let's see if we can get out of here. Oh, I just realized we got a uh, Iron Smiles brother over there. So on on my real person account, not not this press account, I'm in Iron Smiles, uh, that clan over there, uh, with that tag. So and on over there. 
Hey, Greasy Eddie, we'll see you later, man. Thanks for stopping by, as always. Oh, no. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. Hello, floating head, says Toots. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. No green shirt today, though. Um, let's see. Someone says, please explain. Okay, Excalibur says, please explain why the Butch King Day is better than a trap. Um, so... <laughs> It, in Champion League, I, I can't speak for every league, but for, for Champion League and I would assume Masters League, there's so many Bulgasaris out there. Like, it's it's an epidemic <laughs> because of shock trains, basically. Um, but there's so many Bulgasaris out there that sit there and camp. Um, did you see me just get shoot, shot through the wall there? Um, and when you're running those on it, if you help focus their shield, uh, along with the damage that they're all, already be taking during the battle from other people, um, you can really um, put a hurting on that shield, and you can help drop it like really fast. Like most of the time, your your Bulgasari doesn't even drop your you know lose its shield at all. But um, you can really speed that process up because it does. Um, if you think about it, they do. Um, I think 17.3 thousand per hit when they're max mark two anyway. And so if you scale that up, that's uh, 68.6 thousand um, like regular damage for all four of them hitting. And then if you consider the double damage that that does, so you're doing like 130,000 damage um, to anybody who... We, we need to be going this way. I don't know what I'm doing. We should have hit the Falcon. <laughs> we need the speed. Looks like we're going to win this round anyway, though. And we're not going to make it over there to support my teammate. Maybe we will. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. So you can drop shields like incredibly fast. So 120,000 damage, and like you think about a max Mark II Bulgasari shield, it's got like 300 and like, what is it, like 340,000 hit points, which is stupid, by the way. Um, then you can knock it down in like three uh, three full shots, so just a thought. Must be a Bulgasari, because that did no damage. These things do, like, a ton of damage, <laughs> but because of the Bogusari's wire mesh frame being broken, it does, like, nothing. Uh, yeah, yeah, so Dazzle and I says, yeah, the shock trains go through walls now. It's ridiculous. It is crazy. I mean, I, they really need to fast patch that, man. <laughs> they need to fix it, like, yesterday. Okay, so the next beacon that should be had is going to be our home beacon that's behind me, and then that should be game. That should be it. Yep. Ernesto says, I have a Jesse. Oh, Wolfie Wolf, you're back. I'm glad you made it. I'm glad you remembered me. What's up, Stu Burger? Says Vicious Animal. Just living the dream, man. Just living the dream, having my drink in my yellow cup that the green screen can sometimes make go invisible. <laughs> game has turned to energy weapons only nowadays. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely taken a, a shock train turn. A shocking turn between the scourges and the and the noob trains. Like that's all you see out there basically. If you're running just those, like you'll be killing it every single game. They definitely need to uh, take a look at both of those. Uh, Cosmical, I probably didn't see I, I don't recall seeing that comment. <laughs> Um, I did not read every comment on there. Um, I had a random, I had a computer program randomly pick people, take out the human component. I actually only recognized one person. <laughs> like, I only recognized, uh, or no, it was actually like two names. I only recognized two names from people that uh, entered the giveaway who won. Lee Beasy, is, is Lee Beasy here? I just saw somebody saying something about Lee Beasy. <laughs> Jag, genuinely love this channel. Been here since 83 subs. Dude, I love it, man. I love it. All right, so I was just checking the time, but I guess I could just look at my computer. Let's make sure we're doing okay. All right, so let's try to get a not King of the Hill with this stuff before we change a couple other setups around. I'll try to talk about the uh, how to run a bulwark around, like, dash bots and stuff like that because there's definitely some – there's definitely a, le a learning curve. 
Uh, KG, I, I don't know how to say her name. I actually don't have a Strider on this account yet. I need to request that. Okay, so it looks like Noob Train, Noob Train, Fujin, that guy. <laughs> Brendan T, thank you very much for the super chat, man. He says, uh, sending a super chat. <laughs> thank you, man. Much, much appreciated. That was very kind of you to do that. I'm trying to see what your picture is. Is that a monkey? Is that a capuchin? I can't tell what it is. It's hard to see. But anyway, yeah, seriously, big, big thank you. <laughs> big, big thank you for the for the very kind donation there. So we know he's running uh, rockets because we spied him at the beginning. We definitely need to get out of here because this thing's not not the health the healthiest of bots. Um, let's see, what's my favorite setup for a Griff? My favorite setup for the Griff is the Punishers followed closely by the Death Button Griff. The the Punisher Griff is a really good, like, you know, jack of all trades, but the, the Death Button Griff, just, oh, that bug makes me want to slap people. And I'm, and I don't, and I like people, you know? <laughs> it's like so annoying. Please fix it. Also, I did some testing, and it'll be in the Falcon tutorial <laughs> that I do someday. Um, I still have to do tutorials for everything, but that's what happens when they release content too fast. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I, I tested with uh, Lee Fighter Gamer. Um, I, some of you are probably familiar with his YouTube channel. He's also an Iron Smiles clan mate of mine. Um, but we tested to see if the shock trains do less bounce damage off of the Falcon, like to your teammates and stuff. And they actually do the same amount regardless. So um, if it bounces off of me, like, it'll do the same, like, minus 66% damage to me. Uh, but then to my, my teammate, it will do what it would normally do to them. So no, no effect in that way. Um, Lil Sky says, why the stream so late? Um, this is the only time I could do it today because I've got, like, 500 children. So got a stream on their sleeping. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, <laughs> otherwise there's no sound control in my house. My house is not that big, so. All right, let's hide out here with our redeemer and see if we can poke these guys here. <laughs> I just, I'm just trying to read somebody's comment there. Oh, it it already went up. <laughs> Something about sharing is caring. I was I was trying to catch up on it. I like started at the end of the comment and was going backwards because it doesn't make sense. Uh, hey, uh, Samia. I'm not sure how to say your name, but hey, I'm glad that you're here. Oh, hello, sir. Hello. Checking out my ride. Check out my orb. Oh yeah. Feel the power. Feel the power crunk. Oh, I can feel. It. Plasma bug. That guy would have been dead already if it wasn't for the bug. <laughs> uh, Dazzle Knight. I don't think so. I think he's. Uh, I think he's a really good player. I just saw him saying something about Lee. <laughs> we've we've all got our moments, man. I mean, I I kind of I don't know. I think I probably run my show a little bit different than most people do, but. Um, yeah, I think I think Lee's a, there's a lot to be learned from his gameplay, and yeah, he, he posts stuff that you guys can learn from, and I think most people probably don't do what I do. Like I usually just record three rounds in a row and share them with you guys these days. I used to just record three and show you guys the best one, but then people wanted um, longer rounds, <laughs> so I don't know. And obviously, like nobody's for everybody. I'm not for everybody. There's plenty of people who don't like me. There's like 13 people who just come to uh, my videos as soon as they're released and. Before they've even watched it, they dislike it and stuff, which is fine. You know, I'm not for everybody. <laughs> Jarhead says too, if having kids is like adding boss your hangers, <laughs> is adding another hanger when you have kids with another woman. <laughs> That's messed up. And uh, maybe <laughs> to answer your question. All right, we got to get some beacons back. We're we're still doing okay on beacon bar, but. Um, I bet we could probably take their side beacon over here. Do 
You see how that like stuck to that guy for a while? Oh, he's what is he running? I'm trying to see what he was running. I think that might be uh, Orkins. That doesn't bode well for us. Oh, and we're stuck out in the open. Move, Stu, move! Yep, it is Orkins. <laughs> Getting behind other targets. All right, so he's running this way. He's gonna be toast here in a second, just for my teammates, but. All right, so they're still heavy on that other side. I think, actually, we, we've got a Lancelot moving into center, so we should support our teammate rather than coming up with our own plan. <laughs> I got your back, man. Let's turn this beacon twice as fast. And get out of here. Oh no, <laughs> definitely get out of here. Excuse me, sir, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh no, target lock, target lock, there it is. They really need to fix targeting too, man. Whole list of bugs. Holy cow, you got 11,000 something gold and more robots. Did you not play for a while and then came back and that's what was in your account? That's crazy, man. That's a lot of gold. <laughs> we almost made it. Um, Malvert King, so I actually, I actually really like the Redeemer. So he, he said that the Redeemer is not that good of a weapon. It's, I mean, it's definitely not for everybody. That's that's one thing that's nice about the variability in this game is that there's, you know, there's it's pretty much a setup for everyone. <laughs> you see all the health drop off of that hover. Um, I couldn't tell if he hovered or if he ejected there, but it looks like he died, so. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, I actually really enjoy the Redeemer. Um, it it kind of sucks right now because of the plasma bug, so anywhere between like 270 and like 300 meters or sorry, 313 meters. It just like will sometimes intermittently do damage and sometimes not. Um, so with the plasma bug, yeah, it definitely you know kind of sucks. But um, but yeah, in uh, in actuality, I, I feel like it's a really good weapon. It's got solid DPS. It's a lot of got a lot of good pros, and it's a great pairing for your um, you know your different Tron and everything builds. Watch this, watch this. <laughs> so much health, so much health gone. All right. Goodbye, friend. Oh, what? Oh, you know why? It's because he was walking the other way and I was shooting the opposite direction. So that was the perfect compensation for what I just did. Can we hit him? Can we hit him? Got the high arc? Nope, it looks like it's a thing. Uh, who says it's late? It's early morning here in Denmark. <laughs> yeah, it's late for me. Uh, it's 11.25 uh, p.m. for me. Yeah, Denmark, you're you're doing okay still. Shoot! I was trying not to waste a thermite on that guy. All right, I'm just trying to move around a little bit so that this guy can't hurt us so much. <laughs> no, Zeus, get out of here! Oh, there's a guy in here too. I didn't even see you, man. See that did like no damage, and he was totally standing still. Seven a.m. or seven in the morning here in Germany. Says that guy. <laughs> Lee Beasy says I haven't thought about the thermite on the board. You know, if we'd been paying attention more, we probably could have countered a lot more of what these guys have been doing. <laughs> Let's see if we can re retake the side. Both these guys are not in a good place, and luckily that Ancelot has lost his Ansel, so. All right, so let's focus on him since we can't shoot that uh, Camille right now. We'll just tank some shots with this uh, from the shock train with this guy. Or not the shock train, sorry, the Scourge. If we can wait for him to reload and if he sticks around. Oh, no, he's, he's smart. He's ducking under cover. I was going to say, if he's if he's smart, he'll duck behind cover, but he's going to wait for the reload to... Uh, um, until we popped out so that we could maybe switch modes and wreck them with our Orkins. Oh, Chris, I'm sorry you just broke up. <laughs> it sucks, man. Um, Excalibur, yeah, I did hear about that. <laughs> I did hear about that for sure. All right, so what do you guys want to see on the Bulwarks and the Falcons now? So I'm going to leave this Plasma Falcon in for a minute. Um, and we'll even the Plasma Bulwark, but I'm thinking we'll switch out the Thermite one. We can get rid of this Pursuer if you guys want, or we can keep the Sparks in. I don't care. Um, but let's let's change out what this guy has and what the other Bulwark has. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, the real says something in German. I wish I spoke German. <laughs> Daddy O Wii U says, good evening, Stu. Good evening, my friend. <laughs> Vishwai says, I love the skirmish thing, but not the Hellburner. So I actually prefer running the Hellburner with something that I can do damage with. Because if you're up in people's faces anyway, like, it, it doesn't last that long. Once your Ansel's gone and you're already in, like, face-hugging distance, unless you're constantly getting somebody off on their own, like, it'd be nice just to be able to do damage because you're going to go down pretty quick anyway. So I, I've actually had way better success running it with a Thunder and Gust on it than I have uh, anything else. I've actually been wanting to run an Exodus and Gust on it. You know what? Actually, maybe, maybe we could do that. Let's get rid of the Pursuer and we'll do a Hellburner with Exodus and Gust because I haven't done it yet. And what, I know some people are going to ask why Gust um, instead of Pinata. So the Gust has a better DPS, and if you're going to be up close enough to be able to use your ability, then you're going to be up close enough to do damage with the shotgun. So, um, Ember Bulwark. Yeah, let's let's throw that in. Let's throw an Ember on it. And then what about the Falcon? So currently we have Exodus and Orkins. What do you guys want to see on it? Do you want like a mid-range thing? Um, so Kate Lorraine or Kata Lorraine, I'm not sure how to say your name, <laughs> says, Stu, bro, can you please explain about the ability on the Falcon? So when you're just walking around with the Falcon with only your heavy weapon, you know, before you've pushed the ability button or anything, you're taking 66% less damage from whatever comes at you. So if you have, for example, a Shock Train Volgasari shooting you, if it's doing two thirds less damage, then it's basically like taking away two medium weapons from it. So now it's like you're getting shot by a Cossack, if that makes sense. But as soon as you activate your ability, which brings your medium weapons up um, and gives you the ability to jump, you lose that. And it doesn't have tons of health, so. Uh, Treb Ballista, so we want to do a sniper setup on it. <laughs> Treb Ballista says Fox Peel, so I saw a couple for that. Cosmical says that as well. Okay, so it looks like Treb Ballista is what, is what we're doing. Um, Ember Scourge, that could be a good one. And <laughs> Marshall says, how is it possible I did not win Exodus? Blasphemy. I am sorry, my friend. There is actually like, um, I think there was like 1,600 comments that were like player IDs and stuff like that. So there was, there was a lot of competition for that one. I'm going to, yeah, anyway trying to think so if we want to do the trap or should we let's do the flux should we do the flux on it yeah let's do that so i, I saw people asking for the trap but i think i'd rather do the flux because you can constantly shoot instead of waiting uh jeff yeah if you could text that to me that'd be great all right i think we're good then 30 minutes left in the stream and then i'm going to bed <laughs> <laughs> Jeffinant <laughs> or Revajeff. I, I, I think we came up with a couple different names for Revenant the other day. Revajeff or Jeffinant or something. <laughs> Cosmical says, I'll miss you, Stu, when you sleep. Same here, man. I'm going to miss you deeply. Oh, we forgot to switch out. Oh, we were going to put embers on the bulwark. I forgot. All right, so let's. Those guys are moving towards that beacon. Probably nobody's going to go for a home beacon because that happens to me all the time. Is he running? Okay, so he's running... Um, whatchamacallits. <laughs> he's looking at me. He's like, what the crap? Thing looks weird. He's like a zombie. He's like got his little thermite sticking out the top there. Um, is it just me or does the Falcon kind of look like a Strider? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely got the, the creepy little like crippled boy legs that the Strider has. <laughs> Boom. Well, that wasn't a dash bot, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, it was. I can't believe it. We did damage to a dash bot with missiles. It's a Christmas miracle. God bless us, everyone. Come on. Oh, see, he's like basically standing still and still took like no damage. Please address that, Pixonic. I've already reported it 50 times. You guys like that song? It's pretty amazing, right? 
All right, so there goes Mike. He's going down. He's probably going to spawn in right there, right there on the bridge. Oh, no, he's he, uh, he spawned in back there. Maybe he's running shock trains. Nope. We just lost our frontal shield. Come on. Dang it. No damage. But we're moving in. Come on, Stu, you can do it. Come on. I'm trying to stay away from that. Oh, he landed on top of us. We can't do anything. Oh, if we had been paying attention, we could have moved in and taken that guy out. Come on, Stu. Uh, six Spectres, noob trains. <laughs> Are you asking me to run that? I actually don't have any noob trains on this account. Even though it's a press account, I don't want them. I will not play with those green eggs and ham. I'm in Gold League and I saw someone using Raijin Zenith. <laughs> Nice. The Zenith's actually really effective. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not. Oh, well, it's not. All right, sir. Goodbye. See, man, the Redeemers. If you don't have the plasma bug happening between like 270 and uh, and 313, they wreck. I mean, even though Spectres have like not a lot of HP zores, uh, you know, they'd be wrecking anyways. Somebody keeps getting blocked. So for those of you wondering in chat <laughs> if your messages keep getting blocked um, It's because you're probably being mean to somebody or you're you're uh, using foul language both of which are Not acceptable in a stew chat room. We keep it clean man <laughs> Yeah, Lee Beasy exactly <laughs> See, Lee knows, Lee knows. This is actually the worst possible map for this Hellburner, I think. <laughs> There's no, no protection. Come on, lead your shots, Stu. Come on, I'm trying to get in close before I get taken out. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Wasn't close enough to damage those guys, that was a bummer. Um, running out of options here. These guys are picking us apart with long range stuff and my team is not compensated because they were all in long range stuff for a long time. Not working well for us. It's not working people. It's not working, stop doing it. Let's drop back behind cover because we're, uh, we're taking lots of damage. Yeah, Foxfield says the Redeemer is an absolute beast. I agree, man. Like, you get two of them, like, on a Carnage. I've, I've run the Redeemer Carnage quite a bit, and it's fantastic. <laughs> like I said, you just have to compensate for the dumb bug that hasn't been fixed in months and months and months and months and months and months and months. And, months. and then it's amazing. Um, I mean, if you think about it, so Max Mark 2, like, each each burst, so the, you know, it shoots two, uh, two plasma bolts at a time. So each of those bursts is doing... Um, Sorry, I'm just trying to focus here. So each of those bursts is doing more than 20,000 damage. And so you're outputting like, uh, I think it's close to like 280,000 damage or something like that. When uh, when you calculate it all up. Oh, support the team first, then worry about the back lines. Let's back off. We got a Spectre running at us. <laughs> Alright, Spectre, where are you at? Okay, so that, that's our Spectre guy. We should have a, a full volley for him ready here in just a moment. Uh, Gladiator King, the winners of the giveaway are posted in the giveaway video. If you would care to watch. Boom! Goodbye, senor. Yeah, unfortunately, they outcamped us, and in the current mid-range meta, that means they won on this map, especially. <laughs> uh, Stu has a play nice policy, except when it comes to <laughs> shooting AFK players. <laughs> yeah, AFK players. That that just means. I mean, if they were in my shoes, they would go for the silver too. We all need silver. We're all silver poor. We all know the silver earnings need to go up. 
So <laughs> if someone's AFK, that's that's free money. They weren't using that bot anyway, so I'll use it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Come on, Bulby, sorry. Move in. Everyone hates artillery people. They all steal my kills, says codename Muty. <laughs> uh, Inquisitor Orkin Exodus. Everyone wants a reprise. All right, let's, let's try to get more, one more good round with the Hellburner, and then we'll throw in a couple more of these, uh, these things before I end. <laughs> and Bushy, I agree. Yeah, Codename Beauty says every everyone's worst nightmare, a whole team of noob trains. That literally happens like ten times a day when I'm playing in Champion League. Yeah, Codename Beauty says everyone's Oh, sweet. Thanks, Rev, for sending that. Looks like I do have a text now. You can see it up there in the corner. Thank you for sending that, man. I appreciate it. Um, no, I, I could play with the Inquisitor Orc and Exodus. Just not right now. Oh, we, we need to switch this out, though, because we had forgotten to do that. Okay, so we're switching this out for embers. <laughs> Bushy says, Rev, you wrecked me earlier, by the way. Yeah, Rev's a beast, man. And he plays with a lot of beasts, too. <laughs> uh, Joseph Murphy, Murphy says, is it worth 400 plus gold for 200 ember? It depends on what point in the game you're in. If you don't already have like a few orkins kind of thing, then I would definitely make sure that you uh, work on that first. Because it'll, it's, it's going to be a process working for the Ember. But if you've already got your fifth slot, you've already got a few Orkins, um, and you want an Ember, like, an Ember is a great way to breathe life into old bots or to give some, uh, give some love to your new ones, <laughs> even. All right, let's, uh, let's go speedy up here. Oh, <laughs> Oh, Rev, thank you very much for the donation again. <laughs> you might be the most consistent donator that's ever happened to this channel. I just realized I'm not firing with my Exodus, even though I should be. <laughs> but thank you very much for the for the $11 donation again. Uh, let's pound the heck out of the like button, fellas, <laughs> says Rev. Thank you very much for that, man. Much, much appreciated. Boom. So we should have put some love on that guy. All right, let's move in with this and we'll help support this beacon. Uh, we don't need that beacon over there because we have center, so we won't worry about that. We'll just move over here and we'll support center from this area. I just got that fury hit in the belly. He's got a glowing belly now. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> seriously, Jeff, thank you very much. Uh, Santosh, so the Exodus giveaway that is posted on the Exodus giveaway video in the comment section. I'll probably post like a short little video just telling that to people like, Exodus giveaway winners, go to the Exodus giveaway video. <laughs> but if, if you won the giveaway, you would have received a notification from YouTube. Um, because the because I commented, um, I, I sent a reply to the comment of everybody who won. So I, I liked and loved the, the thing as well as, um, as well as a typed comment. So there should be three notifications for each of those per people waiting for them. One thing that's sweet is that the uh, the Age of Shield blocks embers, even though embers normally go through everything. Come on, target lock. <laughs> Give me some love, man. Double kill. See, man? Redeemers. Someone was hating on Redeemers earlier. I'm telling you what, though. They're beastly. <laughs> Thanks, Jag, for that. I lost out of my Champion League crate because I failed to qualify due to losing that game to you. <laughs> oh, are you talking to Jeff still? Or to uh, to Rev? Jeff? Other? What? Oh, I just realized that guy was there. <laughs> we could have we totally helped take out that Griff. Stew. We got the height advantage on that guy. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Goodbye again, sir. <laughs> oh. Redeemers. 
We just got to stay in brawling range until the bug is fixed. Uh, where's the video? So the, the Exodus giveaway video is the one, I mean, you should already know what the video is if you participated, but if you just search Stupendous Exodus giveaway, it'll be there. We saw the video comparing Embers versus Redeemers. Yeah, there's definitely pros and cons to both, but it looks like we got a four cap, actually. I, sh I should have, I wish I could have spawned further that way. That's where all the action is. There's only one guy over there. Maybe we'll just go right up the gut to their spawn. About to pass out. 245 in Texas. Jarhead, we'll see you later, brother. Thank you again for being here. Appreciate you always coming to hang out. My Texas brother from another mother. Brother from another mother. My brother from another mother. I never knew how much I loved you still. Have you guys seen the bromance song by, uh, what's his name? Uh, Ryan. <laughs> so funny. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend it, indeed. Goodbye, Lancelot. <laughs> that guy's like, uh, why isn't he dying yet? He's extremely large red button. Um, oh, are, are you talking about subscribing? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I just saw someone say it's the uh, extremely large red button, my dudes. If you're talking about subscribing, thank you. Please consider subscribing if you like what you see. If you don't like what you see, please consider not subscribing. Because <laughs> if you subscribe and don't hang out and watch videos, it's actually worse for me than uh, if you just didn't subscribe at all. Though I do appreciate the gesture. I was about to jump in. Hey, Zig Awesome says, I was one of the Exodus winners. Thanks for doing this, too. Congratulations, my friend. Hope you enjoy your Exodus. Uh, which is better, Ember or Redeemer? Um, they're both great. There's pros and cons to both. I personally prefer the Redeemer more, and I will definitely like the Redeemer even more after the dumb plasma bug gets fixed ever. Uh, Cody Crazy says, please answer me, Stu. Can you do a Spark Storm Griffin? Or what do you... Uh, so two Storm, please answer. Bag, just want an answer. So yeah, we can... So let's throw a couple more in. I've got... So I've got 15 minutes... We just put those embers on there. Um, I guess th this isn't the most exciting thing in the world, so let's get rid of this. Um, here's a griffin. Perfect. <laughs> uh, Donna, I do not have a pet. Um, we actually rent and we can't have pets. I have five kids, though. Some of them are like pets. <laughs> I think there's some misunderstandings going on in chat. Uh, Stu, make a plasma only hanger in this live stream. So we're not going to have time to do that in this live stream, but we can definitely do that soon. I was actually running an all Fujin hanger earlier today, and it was tons of fun. Although there were occasions where it really sucked, like uh, King of the Hill on Springfield, <laughs> for example, which, you know, because of my luck, I actually got King of the Hill on Springfield three times in a row this morning I swear it's it does anyone else get that I like always get that <laughs> um, scourge dragoon falcon that could be fun sorry I got, I got like an itch on my nose I've itched it like 500 times during the stream feel bad for that hey Stu what robots do you like so currently the funnest one in my opinion is the Pursuer with Gusts. Um, oh, the Minded Guy. <laughs> Said, dude, you changed your name to YouTube. Why would you have taken the 500 gold? So the reason I did that, and so this isn't my main account. This is my, this is the uh, Pixonix account that they let me play on to make videos. Kenny Gaming, shout it out. You are shouted out, my friend. Um, but anyway, yeah, so the community manager said that a lot of people have been reporting these accounts, like the press accounts, to customer service because they see, like, maxed hangers. And then if you look up on my victories, 234 victories in Champion League with this stuff, they're like, this guy's hacking. So they report, they report us. And so customer service asked the community managers to talk to us to see if we'd be willing to make it more obvious that these were, like, a YouTube channel account or something like that. So... Um, yeah, so that, that's, that's, that's why the name changed on this one. It used to be Stuperman for just for fun, but 
Uh, Blue Wolf says, Stu, what is your dream car in real life? <laughs> it's funny you should ask. <laughs> it's completely not practical just for driving around, but my dream car in real life, there's this company, um, I think they're out of Colorado or something like that, but they take, um, so they take like a, like a truck body and they make it into like a, like an all terrain, like zombie apocalypse motorhome. And I'm dying to have one, man. Like they're sweet. Like it's decked out inside. It's got its own generator and stuff. It's got giant wheels on it. Um, like it probably gets like one mile to the gallon. And, but it looks amazing. And I think it has like a couple fuel tanks and stuff too. So it's like long range. But uh, anyway, so Cosmical says, when is the next stream? So I may do a stream on Saturday. It's hit or miss. Um, but I, I usually always do a stream on Tuesday and, excuse me, on Tuesday and Thursday. I switch the times. Usually uh, this time slot right now that you guys are watching, this is usually when I do them at, um, on Tuesdays. And on Thursdays, I usually do, do them in my afternoon. So, <clears throat> hey, Foggy, what's up, man? Oh, and Foggy knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, those things are sweet, man. I'll, I'll have to look up what they're called. I, I can't recall for the life of me, but. Um, okay, so we got team camp match, so let's camp for a little bit. This is like the weirdest camping setup ever. Uh, Bean Squad, uh, we m we may have time for that. We may. All right, let's get a let's get a better vantage point. Oh, this guy's about to pop out. There we go. He is facing the correct way for us to do damage, or at least he was for a second there. All right, so let's let's move up the hill over here. See if we can get a shot off on somebody. Nope. Come on, we've only got five seconds. Got him. <laughs> Wasn't a very good shot. I don't. Know, I don't know what that guy was actually running. Uh, yeah. So I see a lot of requests for the Dragoon Scourge Falcon. So I, we'll we'll probably do that for our last round, which will take place after this round. Oh, he got behind cover. <laughs> Zoltan, what is up, my man? Zoltan, I think uh, in the last in the last stream, I think you said something that I like. I didn't notice it or something like that. And I don't think you said anything about it, but I, I, I felt bad, and I can't recall what it was, but I do apologize for that. And thank you very much for the for the donation. You, you're, yeah, there, I've had a couple people tonight who are like my most consistent donators, and you're always one of them. So, my Hungarian friend, thank you very much. <laughs> for the zombie-proof rolling home. <laughs> oh, you were the man. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, man. <laughs> so, so that that two thousand that's a that's a Hungarian in the Hungarian Hungarian currency. So that's not two thousand dollars. <laughs> um, it's not two thousand euros. It's it's I think it's like seven. I think what the stream decided last time it's like uh, it's like almost eight dollars kind of thing, which is awesome. So Zoltan, seriously, thank you so much again. But I mean, in the lifetime of him giving stuff to me, he's given far more than eight dollars. I swear he donates like every stream. So seriously, man, thank you very much. Tempest needs more ammo. Um, I think it's okay. Uh, it's I think it's already quite strong as it is, um, especially for something that can compete so well up close um, as it can at 800 meters. Um, I, I think it's in probably a, a pretty good spot. I'm trying to jump to get away from these uh, these Norcoms here. Never thought I'd say that in my life. Trying to get away from Norcoms. <laughs> Come on, somebody. There he is. Uh, hey Stu, what is the best build for the Fujin? Says GG boy. Um, that's a that's a tough call. Like there's, it's hard to say like what's the best build for this or that. Like the best build is whatever you can make the most effective and wherever you're the most comfortable. So maybe that's a mid range build or a long range build. I can tell you what my preference is. So for the Fujin, one of my favorite things to run on it is uh, is Tehran. So running running a plasma Fujin in today's meta and Champion League, I found actually still quite effective. And the biggest reason is because of the amount of Orkins out there. So um, so with those Orkins that you're uh, that you're always dealing with, you've got a huge amount of uh, physical shield that you can deal with, or sorry, uh, physical damage you can block with your energy shield. Because it's got, uh, like, a Max Mark II, for example, the Fujin Shield is, like, 100 and... 
uh, like more than 160,000 hit points, which is insane. There we go, cripple that guy for my teammate over there. Took like a third of his health. And <laughs> Donna, I would love some stew. You know, I actually love some beef stew. It's like one of my favorite things. Not now though, it's getting hot. Getting hot outside, it was like 85 today. Uh, remember me when they add the medium gecko. <laughs> oh, yep, it'll be even more. I, I hope that that's one that they don't do, but I'm assuming they probably will just... <laughs> uh, just for the sake of adding something else for people to work towards. Um, but I that's that's one that I actually hope that they don't do. <laughs> it's already plenty of mid and long range stuff. Don't need more to perpetuate the meta. Come on, John Wick. There we go. He turned right at the right time. Luckily, I could still see him. I actually can't see him very well from back here, but <laughs> from where I was there, I could actually still see him, see where he was facing. This is great for making specters jump. <laughs> like, it's uh, having having the flux on here. Like, it's, it's very effective at getting inside of their heads. Oh, aiming. Got him. I hope Stu Foggy Manning Center Beacon uh, do a squad video. It would be awesome. Yeah, we totally should. It would be tough to coordinate something like that, especially with Manny, because he's in a completely different time zone. So for those of you who don't know, Manny is from Germany. And Foggy, myself, and Warlock, we're all from the U.S. Um, I believe Warlock is on Eastern Time, Foggy Central Time. I'm Mountain Time. <laughs> <laughs> 85 yeah in nevada it's like a million degrees yeah it definitely gets that way here in utah so the like the normal highs for uh for where i live are usually quite quite toasty during the summer months so usually for like june july august and a good chunk of september you end up with uh daily temperatures are usually like really close to 100 or over <laughs> flux makes them pop up like popcorn <laughs> very true very true, Foggy, my friend. Oh, he's facing the right way. Got him. Got to keep an eye on that shield. Make sure that you're uh, getting him facing the right direction. Unlike right now. Boom. Um, the Exodus giveaway is not... That wasn't in a live stream. I, actually, I don't like doing giveaways in live streams. It ruins the chat. <laughs> I like hanging out with you guys too much, so I don't I don't do that. Oh, this is a bogus. Sorry, I didn't know what he was. What are your top five five stews? So I would probably start with beef because cow is my favorite food. So I would start with beef stew, and from beef stew, then I would go to turkey stew, and from turkey stew, I'd go to chicken stew, and then I would go to what do I go to after that? So that, what does that give us? Four. Um, vegetable stew? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think of a good... Oh, you know what? There's a... I mean, it's... I, I think it's technically a soup, but I, I would say it's closer to the... Closer to the stew family, but I can't remember the name of it. It's an Italian, like, seafood dish. Um, and it's, uh... So yeah, it's, it's basically a soup, but... It's, uh, it's absolutely amazing. So I, I'd probably throw that one in there right after beef stew, in fact. All right, I'm sick of this thing. We've been in it for way too long. We need we need more excitement in our lives. We haven't been able to show the people this thing yet. Come on, look at me, man. Thing is, with those storms, he has to look at me directly to be able to shoot me. And he's uh, he's not wanting to do that, <laughs> which I can't blame him for. Goodbye, sir. Um, another good Fujin setup, uh, to go back to that question, another good Fujin setup is running Scourges on it. Uh, the Scourges can work really great. Because you can you can work for range, which is great for the Fujin, because it's uh, it's slow compared to everything that has like a dash or a jump. Um, even though it has a decent walk speed. Oh, there's a guy over there. Oh, I forgot about that timer thing. I can't, I can't go respawn over there. <laughs> 
It's one of the most annoying things about that. Oh, lamb stew. There we go. I love lamb. <laughs> Cosmico, don't worry, man. I appreciate you guys just being here. You don't have to feel bad about not being able to donate. I don't even ask people to donate. They just like doing it. <laughs> it kind of blows my mind. I mean, this is this is just my hobby. I mean, it's been a, a giant financial blessing for myself and my family, especially while I've been down and out of work with my broken leg. Like, you guys have saved me, like, with the donations and everything. <laughs> like, like literally. Um, but you guys totally don't have to do this because this is still just my hobby. Like, I'm not going to ask you to pay for my hobby because my hobby already pays for itself. You know what I mean? All right, let's drop into this bully work. Oh, John Wick. I can't get you when you're moving fast. Oh, you changed bots. Used to be a great strategic move, but not anymore. Peruvian monster. There used to be an Albanian monster I used to play with a fair amount. There it is. 30 kills. We were probably pretty low because we were in that Falcon with the sniper configuration the whole time. Um, seen to seen an upgrade to nuclear. <laughs> Love to see a big mushroom crowd. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, Simon Grant, yeah, I do get money from YouTube. So I, I get ad revenue uh, from you guys like watching ads or clicking on ads and stuff like that. So that's um, that's like a steady source of income for the channel and stuff. And then donations like Super Chats and sponsors and stuff. That's another source uh, altogether. Hey, WR Dentist, my man, what is up? Oh, that's right. We're going to do the Dragoon Scourge Falcon. Much better than this thing. I think we determined that the uh, the Falcon is not great as a sniper setup. <laughs> not having all your sniper weapons always available is kind of a waste of time. If you're going to be that far away, like, I don't know, there's much better bots to run uh, sniper setups on than the Falcon. So we learned that together. You learned it here on the Stupendous channel. We did it together. Um, let's see. Daniel says, in my opinion, Natasha needs some more speed. So I, I love you, but I'm going to disagree with you on that. So a lot of what, um, in my opinion, in my non-expert analysis, the mid-range meta that occurred prior to the dash bots happening... The biggest reason that it happened was because of the speed buff that the, you know, the ultra heavy bots that are classically used for long range stuff. Um, that uh, giving them that extra speed, it made them so that they can line up like whatever shot that they have. Jeff, are you still here? You're supposed to go to bed forever ago. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Um, anyway, I think this is all we're gonna change. This is gonna be our last round for the night. <laughs> We're doing a War Robots alphabet here. Daniel Dennis just subscribed. Thank you, Daniel Dennis. I don't know if you're here on the stream, but if you are, thank you much, my brother. Uh, yeah, Talos one. So watching ads does help. So, <laughs> and most ads, like if you if you skip them, then I don't end up getting the ad revenue from them. Um, th and that's like that's probably 95% of the ones that are skippable. If you watch like the whole ad, or at least if it's a longer one, if you watch at least 30 seconds of it, that's when I get paid for it, kind of thing. Um, then I think some of them pay for click throughs. So like if you click on, uh, like click on an ad and go to their website or something like that, then um, I think they send a couple pennies my way, kind of thing. Not sure. Um, yeah, the Exodus does not fit on the Raven. It does not have the hard points for it. I just saw somebody answering somebody else on that. <laughs> Harold, how's it going? <laughs> Another TDM. <laughs> oh. Um. Let's see. All right, so they've got noob trains, Tehrans. Trying to see what they got here. Okay, so they got an RDB Griff. We don't have a lot of support from my team on this side, so let's let's do that, shall we? Okay, so his shield is facing us currently. Here's that, uh, so the question about running one Exodus. 
<laughs> this uh, this round should be a fair answer to your question here. Let's see. We got to stay awake from that guy though. Bars for wrecked. You guys still going through the alphabet? <laughs> oh, I love you guys. Jeez, for God, like. <laughs> oh, or Gus. Could be for Gus, too. Um, Simon Grant, the more subscribers you get, uh, you do generally get a better revenue stream, but it's not just because you have subscribers. So I've, I've heard that misconception from a lot of people. I don't get paid based on the number of subscribers I have. I could have, like, I mean, technically these days you have to have a 1,000 subscribers to be monetized. So I could have a 1,000 subscribers, and I could make, like, tons of money if my videos were getting like millions of views because people are watching ads. Um, and so that's what you get paid off of. It's all based off of the ad revenue. And so if I have more subscribers, that means it's more likely that I'll have people watching my videos, which means I should be making more money, but it doesn't mean that I'll be making more money, if that makes sense. This is boring, man. I hate TDM on this map. <laughs> but I'll, I'll leave my team to it. I don't want to end on a TDM. I, n I never jump out of rounds. I like never do that, but I just don't want to end on a TDM. If it's on a short map, I'll do it, but I don't want to do it on a long map. It's just so boring, and I hate doing that to my team and everything, but um, yeah, and I, I literally never do that except for when I'm doing live streams. <laughs> C is for cringe, says Jose. Oh, hey, Jose. How's it going, man? <laughs> Bean squad. R is for run because shock train's incoming. <laughs> Um, should they make a heavy scourge? No. No more mid or long range stuff, in my opinion. I hate Hydras, says <laughs> Nike. Me too, man. They, they're they very annoying. If I, <laughs> The reason I would want to run Hydras is so that I could only shoot at people running shock trains. <laughs> Oh, Blood and Honor. That's awesome, man. Thank you for that. Oh, and I think, uh, Blood and Honor, I think I still have a message I need to respond to on Facebook from you. What are we playing? I don't know what game mode we're playing. Let's drop into this. Let's see what happens. But we're on a long map again. However, it is not TDM. S is for, S is for sorry for being annoying about this alphabet. I don't think it's annoying. I think it's funny. Uh, Death Button Raven. I, I actually do really love the Death Button Raven. It's very fun. Unfortunately, this is going to be our last round for the evening. <laughs> the last one is going to be our last round for the evening. But, wasn't able to make that work because it was going to be very boring. <laughs> Come on. Alright, so we've got our damage resistance back, so that's good. Um, this guy might be... Oh, he's close to being in range, but he's not quite. All right, so we do have this guy moving up the ramp. He is in a Spectre, if I recall. Oh, no, must be a Pursuer. Oh, no, it's a Stalker. Nice, way to be, man. Way to be. Represent the Stalker. <laughs> now he's gone. That, that's how you represent the Stalker. You just know that you're not going to last long. All right, let's drop down. Not taking unnecessary damage while that guy's cloaked. Oh, you're so close. That guy's almost gone. Goodbye. I have a skip TDM on Yam. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I seriously do. I never skip anything. Um, I always play every round, except for when I'm live streaming, I'll skip. Um, like, it's usually just the last round of the night that I'll skip, just so that it doesn't get so boring. Oh, okay, so it looks like we're playing Beacon Rush. I actually have no idea what game mode we're in. Trying to back off here because we got this guy moving up. Need my ability back so we can do some scourge damage on him. Nice. All right, so that guy's facing us. As soon as he faces somewhere else, I can try to do some damage to him. But he's facing the correct way to avoid damage from me, except for oh, I thought I thought we almost had him. Uh, please use the old champs back in the day. Yeah, we'll, we, we'll definitely do uh, old school live stream coming up here. I actually quite enjoy running that stuff still. I've got a all Griff, all Raven live stream we'll be doing together. That should be, or sorry, all Griff and, uh, and uh, Rhinos. 
<laughs> J is for jokes for dad. Yeah, dad jokes. Kenny Gaming, subscribe for a year and a half, maybe. I love it, man. Thank you. All right, let's get back out of this guy's range here. Really was no point in doing that. I probably shouldn't have. Uh, yes, I see Sir Oblivion answering somebody's question for me. So, yeah, the, the giveaway stuff, again, that's going to be in the giveaway uh, video that you guys have already watched. So, the, the video that the giveaway was hosted on. So, you'll want to keep an eye out there. Luckily, he was not using his shield correctly, so <laughs> he wasn't able to uh, block all of our damage. Noob trains come for us. Here we go. Got this guy with noob trains looking at us from up there, but want to see if we can uh, do some damage on this guy before we get taken out. Oh, got noob trained to death first. All right, so let's drop into our Raven. Should be able to pop up here pretty quick. Oh, wait, we're not in a Raven. I forgot we're in a Griffin. <laughs> It's a Raven Griffin, but I was thinking we're in a Raven, so I keep trying to double jump in this thing. I didn't even realize that the last uh, last round we played in it. I was like, oh, I thought I should have had my double jump there, but I didn't. It's because I'm not in a Raven. I'm in a Raven Griffin, which is confusing for everybody. They need to rename the skin. Let's help Stu focus by answering the question so Stu can play. <laughs> yeah, Stu, uh, Stu struggles. Stu really struggles sometimes, man. You are dead, sir. And by dead, I mean your bot died, but you ejected up into the heavens. What's he running? Oh, is he, he's running tridents. Nice. Speaking of old metas, trident fury, that's what we should do. I should do all griffs. Like two griffs, two rhinos, and a trident fury. That's what we should do for that live stream. What do you guys think about that? That's like that's what the game was like when I started playing, so like two and a half years ago. I was like, wait, I don't have a stealth jump? Babied by all the babying builds that they have out there these days. <laughs> plasma or rocket hover? Um, I personally prefer the plasma hover. Plasma or uh, the vortex aphid. If you have it. Si lo tienes. His storm is still the same size as Magnum. Yeah, they should they should address that. It looks kind of dumb. It's like a little tiny baby weapon, like a water pistol. Stu, I sent another Facebook request. If you don't have room, no worries, dude. I, yeah, I, I definitely need to get on that. I've been slacking, slacking on my super peeps. See that? See the damage bug? It's because we're between uh, 280 and uh, and 313. This heavy shock train. I just saw someone say heavy shock train in all caps. I, I might quit the game. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, actually, I might. I mean, it, it would seriously ruin the game even more than shock trains already ruin it. I'm trying to back off so we don't get a plasma. Oh, here we go. He's, he's close enough that we should be able to deal full damage now. I'm trying to avoid the plasma bug there, but. Oh, look at that. That's a good spot. I've never thought of using that spot. Where am I getting shot from? Oh, this guy. Stu, come on. Come on, man. Just admiring the place that other guy was shooting at me from. I didn't realize that that guy was shooting me. <laughs> Thunder Orc and Chicken. I mean, Falcon. <laughs> it says Foggy. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Foggy, and I don't know how in the world he could be, he's like the grand master of giveaways and stuff, but also maybe the world's nicest guy. So definitely go check out Foggy's channel. So Foggy Gaming, you can click on his name there, and you can head over to his channel. Let him know the stew sent you over. Give him a little stew heart. Let him know you love him. There we go. We got our damage resistance back. That guy's toast anyway from the Molots there. This guy's going to be like, wait, why do I feel like a Cossack right now? Because you basically are against me. Yeah, heavy shock train of Scourge. I sure hope that they never, ever, 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 ever release those. <laughs> ever, ever. And if they do, please make a big stink about it, people. Trying to jump. Jump, Falcon. Falcon punch. You guys ever play Smash Brothers? 
And thank you, Foggy. You're awesome. Uh, Stu says, send Pixo a hanger suggestion for the next skirmish. You know, I'm, I'm probably not going to be their top priority. They'll probably give that to Manny next if they are going to continue that tradition. Uh, Plasma Bug is 270 to 313. Yeah, it, it's about that. I, I haven't been able to figure out the low end quote quite because it seems kind of buggy, but around 270. Oh, I could have dropped in on our home beacon, but we should be okay. We've got enough beacon bar. We'll win anyway if we just hold our two and don't die. Um, but anyway, what were we talking about? I was answering somebody's question. Oh, suggestions for the skirmish. Yeah, so I, I doubt I would be the <laughs> the next priority. <laughs> I'm sure that uh, Manny would be one of the next ones or something like that. Yes, Lancelot. You are who I want. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir, indeedy. This is good. This this gives us some extra time to move in and get some more get some more damage, you know. I wish I wish I could transfer the silver that I make on this to my main account because I'm like silver broke on my main account. <laughs> Which is uh, where I where I prefer to play, actually. So I, I kept hitting the Aegis there too. It, it must just be me. It's probably user error, but I keep not activating my Aegis, and it keeps uh, screwing me over. Ooh, we got him right at the end, last second kill. Boom. Good way to good way to end the stream. <laughs> Oh, Tank Savage, I am great. I'm sorry, but that was just the last round. <laughs> if you were just making it here. There you go. Pretty pretty solid round there. Pretty solid round for a brawler. A brawler these days. Usually it's the, the mid-range folks taking all the damage. Just catching up on chat here a little bit. Jag, we'll see you later, brother. Thank you again for being an amazing mod. So... I'll, I'll stick around just for a second and I'll answer a couple more questions. I'm already over time for the stream. <laughs> Foggy, thank you very much, man. Great comment. Uh, Mike Ramirez, do I remember you? I remember a lot of Mike's, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I try to remember as many people as I can. Um, I'm going through. I'm going through Mike's in my head. So two other ones popped in my head first, but I, I can't recall if we had a particular memorable conversation or anything. Notice me, says typical Steam Gaming. <laughs> Nahik, thank you for the comment on my content. Um, so Allah says, I think these giveaways are prearranged. Do you mean like... Uh, so, like, I've already decided who I'm going to give them to or whatever. I, if that's what you mean, then definitely not. I actually use a random comment picker to pick the people who win. And I actually didn't recognize – I recognize only two people who won uh, from from the giveaway. If I was picking people, I would have definitely picked my friends. <laughs> but since I wanted to make it fair and random, that's not how I did it. I don't know if that's what you meant or not. but uh, Bushy, I'm not sure. I, I tried – I. Tried something else. I thought I had figured it out last time, but apparently that was not the case. So with the Echo, I'll, I'll have to take a look at some things uh, between now and the next stream. Um, because I thought I had it figured out. I just I changed one of my wires out because I thought I was giving, making a feedback loop. But uh, that's not the case. So my fix for that in today's stream obviously didn't work. Uh, balance of the newest stuff. So Zig, um, when it was all first being released, it was obviously way out of balance compared to the rest of the game. But then it became clear what they're trying to do. You know, they're trying to make, you know, things that people can work towards in the game. Like they're still attainable, but it takes time to get them. And by the time you get to champion, you should still have a bunch of them, um, kind of thing. And so they're competitive among themselves, but they really do uh, kind of take the cake over the other stuff. Yeah, Bushy, I'm sorry you didn't win, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dangerous Beast, what's up, man? Uh, what about a super heavy slot? <laughs> that could be interesting. Like a, like a super shoots. That could be fun. It's got like red lightning always flashing around it. Uh, please do some more live streams. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll keep them going. You guys seem to like them, and I really enjoy the interaction with you guys, so... 
Um, they're definitely not going to go away on my channel. Uh, typical Steam says, Stu, did you know Pix was giving away a bonus for new accounts? Yeah, so if you had an account that was a year and a half or less and you had that link, you could get like a whole bunch of stuff uh, kind of thing. So, yeah, that was, that was pretty cool that they did that. Um, I think it got <laughs> more out of hand than they were intending. But um, Let's see. Haven't I tried the Tempest Moa Strider? No, but I should. <laughs> uh, Fox Peel, I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow. Um, how did I get my channel name? So Stu, so Stu Pendis, that, so my real name is Jared, but Stu Pendis is a, it, that's an IGN or a, or a gamer tag that I've used since I was a teenager. Uh, my buddy came up with it one day when we were just trying to, like we were playing a game and we were just trying to figure out what to call ourselves. And so, um, <laughs> so he's like, he's like, I, I thought of a couple dumb ones. He's like, how about Stu Pendis and Polypeptide? And I was like, okay, I'll take Stu Pendis. And so that's what it's been ever since. Oh, there we go, Bean Squad. Yeah, that, that's a that's a good idea. So talking about tactics and stuff like that, uh, quite a bit more. Maybe for some of the older stuff too, like going through like you know how to make this survive. That's actually the idea behind the the all Fujin hanger. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll definitely get to talking about stuff like that. Um, I've noticed you never use Ancelots. Why is that? <laughs> so the biggest reason I never use Ancelots is because they were a big meta. Um, a while ago and I just I don't like running metas <laughs> so I, I just I just still don't even though you know it, it would be a good thing to run I probably should start running it more but because it's definitely not a meta now <laughs> yin yang says hey Stu if you heard your name <laughs> uh, from a distance would you get scared probably it kind of weird me out like if someone's like hey Stu I'd be like Wait, I actually ran into somebody on this planet who knows who I am? <laughs> I doubt that'll ever happen. I'm not sure the channel will ever get that big. Uh, Jake Jake, I would love if weapons had skins. Uh, the Raijin Exodus is great. If you didn't see the Exodus giveaway, that's actually the last build that I run at the end of the video. So the Raijin Exodus I've definitely had great luck with. Is that orange juice? Um, it's actually just water. Um, just water in my, in my cup. And the, the green screen makes it invisible sometimes. Like, you can see my hanger behind there. <laughs> it's The cup's yellow, but it must just have enough green that it picks it up. <laughs> uh, Dangerous Beast, I already did. I, I noticed your first one. Um, the winner list is posted, uh, Rupong. It's, it's posted in the video that you posted, that you entered the giveaway on. So if you go to the Exodus giveaway video, then uh, you'll have it there. <laughs> raw eggs, really. Yeah, I, I, I drink raw eggs. That's how. That's actually how I grow my beard. Otherwise, it's kind of like a prepubescent uh, boy. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> thank you very much for coming and joining the stream, as always. You guys know I much appreciate you guys coming to hang out. I really love the time that we're able to spend together. Um, and, yeah, your guys' support just blows me away, like, all the time. Constantly blowing me away. Uh, I love that you guys come to hang out. So thank you for being here, those who are here. Thank you for being here for those who are watching after the fact. And, yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing night.